Greetings out there in YouTube land. Little C is sitting on my lap here for this one. I was just listening to a video a sister in Christ here did on the old man or new man in Christ, you know. And she's doing pretty good there, you know. A lot of these people these days I've noticed are trying to go too intellectual, sadly. But hey, this is life, right? Um, they, it's good to know these things. Yes, I'm saying nothing wrong with it. But, uh, but when it's more intellectual, leaving out the one aspect of discussing faith, because uh, without faith, <laughs> you ain't going anywhere, okay? But I know she's got it now, but a lot of people keep, and it's not just, I'm saying everybody out there is not really paying much attention to the matter of faith, of being and the importance of it, right? Because I was questioning whether I had the faith of a mustard seed or not after everything I've been through, that Jesus, and I could write a book, I mean, thicker than a phone book. I guess the stuff he did for me while well, I was lost, never mind after, okay? And I, that always been making me think a lot about that, and there's way more there, right? And I'm scared to go in my own memories I think all the bad stuff I did. If you just fix them, I can remember stuff from over five decades ago. So yes, I'm terrified to look too far back, right? But as I was listening to her, uh, it just entered my mind, right? And it just like snap. Because I'm going to be going to Africa as one of the places Jesus wants me. And I remembered Machine Gun Preacher. I don't know if any of you do. I put the movie link on there because they happen to have it on here. But I gave it to the Greek subs because that's what they had. Now, God, he took this uh, badass, foul mouth, been in prison, drug dealing biker, turned his life around, praise Jesus. You see him baptized the whole nine yards, right? Well, you know, if some of you don't know. I don't want to give you away too much, but. He had to use some of his old skills, right, with a gun in his hand, right, and for the Lord's service. So, yes, some of the old can be used in the new because a lot of people aren't thinking about it. But your testimony on how you escaped from the nightmare. So many are walking the same path you walked before and thinking there's no hope. So by you telling your testimony and stories, you say, hey, man, I walked in those shoes and here I am right now. You can do it, too, through the love of Jesus. So the old man can, some parts of it can be useful to the new man. And in his particular case, that I'm, that's why I'm talking about this movie here, God used him. Thousands of children every night are safe because of that one man. They had nowhere to sleep at night safety. The gangs come for you. You know, drug you up and child soldier, there you go, killing anybody in the way. They'll raid a village just to take any children there. Drug them up. After a little bit, they won't even remember anything. They got drugs that they give them, and they tell a lot of them, oh, you're, you're super now. Go rape some old lady or something like that, and bullets will bounce off you. All sorts of sick stuff is being told to these children, right? Those Boko Haram people, they, they kid up a bunch of Christian girls. We're selling them like for $2 a piece to as war brides and that, right? They weren't even 30 miles away. About 200, well, a bunch of those girls eventually after a while got up and took a walk because nobody was watching them, right? And they, they walked home. Now think about that. And they're supposedly looking for him. Did anybody bother? Oh no, they're Christian. Why bother looking for him, right? I mean, the, the ones you couldn't really sell too much, they, you know, for the children they over there to use as kill targets, they call them their cubs over there. It's just pathetic, right? But here's this man who was a badass that God turned his life around only to, to need his skills because God knew that man. He'd need him right there for the Sudanese people. Right, because that Sudan area is a nightmare. You know it, brothers. You got to take a look what's going on right now. Ebola, anthrax, cholera. Uh, they're just to name a few, and they got more going on there. Civil war. They can't even treat the Ebola. Oh, oh, uh, Ebola people are nothing because the civil war going on there. It's too dangerous. They're not letting doctors in, or they're killing them. You know, running and stealing the supplies so they can't help anybody. Setting the, the places on fire so that the infected people going to seek help are running and fleeing. In their culture over there, the families tend the ill. So families will come, come to tend an ill relative and then carry off Ebola to other areas. And it's spreading like wildfire over there. All manner of stuff. It's spreading even the outskirts of cities. Right? But this man here stood tall for Jesus. They were coming for the children. They had no safe place to stay. And he stood up and his old man was needed and the new man there for God. It isn't always the case, but I bring it up is sometimes some things of the old can be useful to the new, like your story and how you escape that old life.
and found Jesus and found a way out is always useful because it can save somebody much grief and that might not make it with a little bit of help or encouragement and say, hey, if he did it, then I can do it too. Giving them hope because Jesus came to give the people hope. And some may not like a few words in the beginning, you know, before he takes Jesus into his heart and all that. But the thing is, he's keeping it real. That's who he is. They play the character as he is. A real person, a real man, used by the real God, and thousands of children got a safe place to sleep at night, to walk miles to get there every day, just to have a safe place to sleep at night. Now think on that, and be pray, get on your knees and praise God that you don't have to live there, and that your children don't have to leave you every night uh, to try and make it there. And, and hope that the place doesn't get raided or they're they going to kidnap on the way there on the way back. Just to come back to you, the loving parent, the next day. And that's if the guys don't come for you during the day and kill your parents to get you. Some of you have it so lucky, brothers and sisters, and you know it not, you know it not at all. But sadly, Revelation 6 verses 9 to 11 is not done. And it's going to get really bad and ugly worse. Right? Much worse than it is right now. And there are way over a hundred and some countries you don't want to be a Christian right now and or they'll lock you up in prison and worse. Don't want to be a Christian in China, that's for sure. Or North Korea. You know, so do the math, there are other countries as well. You carry a Bible in Saudi Arabia, a US ally, right? Kiss your head goodbye, right? Unless, you know, you got connection, right? but that'd be about it, and nobody does have those kind of connections over there. But God can use the old for the good of the new sometimes. If it's done wisely and for the right reasons. To make a difference in others' lives and give them a better life. Think about it in my life.